Hello, everyone. Welcome to the Glory Room. I'm Prophetess Lou. I hope you all are having a blessed day. Before we get started, let's pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you. Thank you for life, health, and strength. Thank you for loving us and taking care of us. Most of all, we thank you for saving our soul. Father God, we ask you today to help us apply this word to our lives and help us apply your holy word to our lives, Father God. Father God, help us be hearers and doers of your word. Father God, bless the ones that are reading it and bless the ones that are hearing it. In Jesus' name, amen. So our verse today is Colossians 3.13, bearing one another. And if one has complaint against another, forgiving each other as the Lord has forgiven you, so you also must forgive. Subject, releasing the power. Christian truth, so I'm going to say it and pause behind each one to give you opportunity to say it if you like. I'm releasing the power. I'm releasing the hurt. I'm using Jesus as my shield. I am complete. It's not easy to forgive. Trust me, I, I know. I've held on to grudges after mishap because I wanted to protect myself from anything and everyone. And one weekend, I managed to stay in the whole entire weekend. And as I was there, God had a significant talk with me. He said, you are still holding on to things that have happened since childhood. You're holding it over other people's head. He said, you must let go. If I could be honest, it, it was a long day. I cried. I apologized and asked for forgiveness. I forgave people who, who asked for forgiveness that I wouldn't forgive because I wasn't ready to let go. I wasn't ready. But the thing is, for every mistake someone made, I placed it into a pal. I just couldn't let go. But when the day was over, I did more prayer and I let go. And letting go and not letting everything pile up is the hardest thing. Still, let me know if it lets me know that you must be. And lets me know if you want to be forgiven and live in peace, we must let go. Proverbs 21 and 21. Whoever pursues righteousness and kindness will find life, righteousness and honor. I say all this to say this. If you are holding on to something painful for, for you not to hold on to it, you must let go of things that have happened to you and let God have them. Holding on to this stuff made me bitter and angry and you turn into a person that isn't you, the real you. We'll find life when we let go of bitterness. Bitterness and unforgivingness will have you stuck in your head and God wants us free. God wants us to walk in our authority. How can we walk in full authority if we're stuck and comfortable with the partial authority? Bitterness and forgiveness will have you thinking you are right and you are wrong. When we hold on to this and when we allow Satan to whisper in our ear, we are giving him a foothold in our life. Luke 6 and 31, as you wish that others would do to you, do the as to them. Some people desire to be forgiven for their sins. They have done. But some of us keep the memories of everything logged in and we don't release it at all. And we get trapped in the same way or being in a loop of not letting go. But we have to teach ourselves and to others how to let go. I felt lighter and I forgave and I moved on because I knew I had been holding on to enough. The demons we fight are in our heads and our heart. But when we let go, when we release them, we will be free. The man with the legion of demons came running to Jesus. Do you see what it says? He ran to Jesus and he asked Jesus what he wanted from him. Mark 5, 6 through 7. And when he saw Jesus from a distance, he ran and fell on his knees in front of him. He shouted at the top of his voice, what do you want with me, Jesus? Son of the most high God, in God's name, don't torture me. He knew immediately that Jesus was going to do something. And we don't like changes. Our flesh doesn't like it, especially spiritual changes like this. But we know it's something we must do. God is trying to help us to forgive. But he won't make us. We must realize we need it and do what this man did, ask for help. As we do this, we become lighter and lighter. Forgiveness is something we must do so that we can be free, so that we can move past what we are hung up on. Matthew 6, 15, but if you do not forgive others, their trespassers, neither will, will your father forgive your trespasses. It says it here, we must forgive because we won't, we, won't, we won't be forgiven. At times, we feel this heaviness because we are unwilling to be merciful to people. We want mercy, we want grace, but do we give this? The Lord is waiting for us to use him as a shield and not our, our emotions we have built up around our heart and mind. Do you allow your what you built up, your emotions, to be your fortress for yourself? We have to stop building the walls around our lives thinking this would keep pain away and this would keep hurt away, but it won't. In life, we will have pain. We will have the hurt. There's nothing we can do about it, but all we can do is forgive and allow God to protect us and be our shield. Today, if you can't forgive or move past hurt and offenses, ask God to show you how 
But when he does, it's strictly up to us to let go and start forgiving. Sometimes this doesn't happen on a weekend. It takes days for us to see what we need to do. If I could be transparent, he might have been showing me all along what I need to give up. But because the enemy had me blind and bound, I let him. Why? Because sin feels pleasing to the flesh. Sin feels good because it's what we want and gratifies us. But when we stop thinking about what makes us feel good, and we stop thinking and looking at everything in a spirit, and we start looking at everything in a spiritual sense, and how this is hindering our growth, we will see what we are doing is stopping ourselves from changing. No, I'm not saying money is waiting on the other side of forgiveness, but our emotions and mind being lighter is what's waiting for us. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, please forgive us of not forgiving. Lord, help us to lean lean on you. Help us to learn from this lesson and apply it to our lives. Lord, help us to be understanding and patient to those who did us wrong. Lord, we want to feel lighter and less weighed down. And we know that when we surrender our emotions to you, we can. Lord, give us strength and understanding through this process. Lord, help us to let go of any bitterness and malice. Lord, it hurts to let go because this is our shield. But we no longer can use it as that. We ask you to be our shield against the world. It's, we surrender to you right now. In Jesus' name, amen. Our reference, Matthew 18, 21 through 22. Then Peter came up and said to him, Lord, how often will my brother sin against me? And I forgive him as many as seven times, Jesus said to him. I do not say to you seven times, but 77 times. Matthew 18, 21 through 22. Luke 6 and 36, 37. Judge not and you will not be judged. Condemn not and you will not be condemned. Forgive and you will be forgiven. Luke 6 and 37. Colossians 3.13, bearing with one another, and if one has a complaint against another, forgiving each other as the Lord has forgiven you. So you also must forgive. Colossians 3.13. Further reading, Proverbs 19, Ezekiel 40, Psalms 36, and Isaiah 19. This ends releasing the pow. I pray you all have a blessed day. Remember, Jesus loves you. I love you too. Remember to like, subscribe, and follow on any platform. Remember to share with a family member or a friend. If you can, please share on social media. Thank you. Be blessed.